Hello, my name is Mark Roberts, and I did my summer research for the SURE program on thermoluminescent dosimeters. The motivation for this research is the fact that not all shipping containers are scanned for radiation coming into the country. This is a great security risk given how many containers come into the country each day. With such a high number of containers, any detector setup, which would be widely deployed, would have to be both low cost and low maintenance. One choice that fits both these criteria is thermoluminescent dosimeters, or TLDs. An example of TLDs is in the lower right. TLDs work by trapping electrons in higher energy states when exposed to radiation. They can be freed from the trapped states by heating. A byproduct of this reaction is the production of light. The graph to the right, called the glow curve, shows the light output of a TLD plotted against the temperature of the TLD. To determine the amount of radiation the detector was exposed to, you can simply sum the area under the glow curve. Used this way, the TLD is an integrating detector and loses any information about when it was irradiated. To be an effective means of radiation detection, say, in a cargo container, we need to know when the detector was irradiated. Since TLDs have constant rates of background absorption and post-irradiation fading, a glow curve will contain some information about the time of irradiation. Our research is focused on finding equations that can find the time of irradiation given a glow curve as input. This is done by exposing the dosimeters to a, <coughs> a radiation source and using different pre- and post-fading conditions. This is an example of a <coughs> TLD reader and a computer. We would then generate a large set of data points using 100 TLDs and give them different amounts of pre- and post-fading that could then be generalized into equations. If the time of irradiation can be found, the biggest obstacle is overcome, and TLDs could be an excellent choice for port security. That concludes our presentation on thermoluminescent dosimeters. Thanks.